here are going to help you find your tenants when you're trying to invite your tenants to do a tenant movement inspection. You want them to remotely sign your inspection, or if you want them to do a tenant periodic inspection. All that data here is under the tenant tabs. You may have recall for older users that may have previously be called turnover, but we've expanded the functionality of this. So tenants, we find it more broadly. This really should be all of your tenants information. So typically you will be able to just go here, search for the property of interest, and then simply invite to either have the tenants do a move inspection, have the remotely sign your inspection, or invite them to do a tenant periodic. However, sometimes you're not gonna be able to find your tenant data in here. And this is primarily for customers who have their tenant data in sync with other popular property accounting software. If you're not seeing any tenant data here, your account probably isn't in sync and there's separate videos just how to do the sync. This is gonna be how to diagnose particular problems. All right, so one thing to keep in mind right here is if you see that as black there, then that means that this, what we call a lease information, is not actually in sync. For the most part, all of your data should be black, or excuse me, all be green, all the way down. Essentially, all of your leases here should be in sync. Now, what is a lease? So really, you see, we're looking, searching for a property here, but a lease is what we call the relationship between the property, the tenants, the lease start date, lease end date, move-in date, move-out date, all that together, we use the terminology the lease to describe all that information that we connect together. All right, so if you're going to want tenants to do an inspection, then you'll typically search for the property first and then invite them accordingly. You might also want to be searching for the lease start, lease end date fields. You can even do other th searches there as well. Now, if you're not seeing the tenant data, here are the typical steps you're going to want to do. Now, first one, you're going to want to go to inactive. And so, and then search here. Are you seeing the tenant here? And most commonly, what this means is that the lease end date has passed and then so the default option and here we're going to go into settings accounting integration and the default option for your tenants and it's in a little bit different spot depending on what sync set up but it's all under tenants and the default option will be something like this is that if the the move out date or lease end date has passed then we're going to put them as inactive now if you are the type of company that you do not change the lease end date in your system if a tenant goes month to month, so or if you do not specifically mark them as month to month in your software, some companies leave the lease end date as it is and they rely on the move out date to determine if the tenant is inactive or not. So typically what you would do in that configuration is you would click this and you would make this as move out. So you would rely on the move out date has passed in order for the leases and Z inspector to be set to inactive. Most time you're not gonna need to do that if you're not set up this way, um, but that's typically what you're gonna wanna do here. Now, while we're here, we're also have this setting here and we're gonna put, we're gonna categorize your tenants as moving out if their lease by default here in this configuration, if the move out date is within 90 days and you can configure that option if you want. Now a moving out tenant is still in your active tenant list, but we separately put them in the moving out category so you can easily find those tenants as well. All right, so that's how you're gonna typically diagnose a if the tenant is in the inactive list and they shouldn't be you can go in here into these options and change that option there. If that is not the case, the next thing to check is if the property itself is actually in sync. So if I go to properties here and I'm gonna to go to the admin page, here is the list of properties. And here, if you look at this column here, ACCT, that means accounting integration. In general, 
all of your properties in here should all be in sync and you should see yes simply everywhere here. And you could click on no and that's gonna quickly find any properties that are not in sync. Most co companies will have everything in sync as a yes. If you're not seeing that, then, it, so if you're seeing it as a no, that means you manually created the property in Z Inspector. And you might do that if you're going to be assessing a property, if you wanna see if you're going to manage that property or take initial photos, you may create it in Z Inspector and it never got created in your accounting software. So that would be a situation where it is no, because it's not synced up yet with your actual accounting software. And if appropriate, you could archive it and drop that out from the list. Okay, so if you are seeing the property in sync and you're still not finding the tenant data or you're still not seeing things from there, the best thing to do then is go to settings, accounting integration, and then look here at the log. There could be various things or various errors. The most common one is our default setup on our mapping option is that if the property type is not set, that we are not going to be importing that property in the Z Inspector. We believe by setting the property type, it gives you more control, and then you can choose whether you want properties to be in Z Inspector or not. And so those properties will be clearly identified in the log if that was not set. So you can decide to assess that. And it, we would re really recommend you only change that ma mapping option is if basically you only manage single family homes, for instance, you might set that to single family. Or if you only manage multifamily units, you might set that there. But if you manage a mixture, you probably want this set to do not import. And then you're making a firm determination that what type of property is and what areas we should add to it when we're doing the syncing. So finally, if you're still not seeing something, please do a, send us a screenshot, send us the support, and clearly say exactly what property you're looking for, exactly what tenant, as much information you can give us, the more the better, or even a screenshot from your software. And then from there, we can, engineering can do a trace and diagnose any problems. There's a lot of sophisticated logic behind this. It's, the syncing is very robust, but there are some different options depending on how you are set up. We believe the default options work for most customers, but there could be some subtleties. If you, again, if you need help, just let us know.